you're still watching ways now countries all over the world um, celebrate World Blood Donor Day every year on the 14th of June. It was first observed in 2004. The idea behind this event is to raise awareness for the need of blood, blood products, and the need for safe blood. Moreover, it is an act of thanking the blood donors who voluntarily come out and donate blood to those in need. Now, it is also one of the eighth official global public holiday campaign initiated by the World Health Organization, along with World Health Day, World Tuberculosis Day, World Immunization Week, um, World No Tobacco Day, World Malaria Day, World AIDS Day, and World Hepatitis Day. So thank you to all the people who go out every year to donate blood. Have you ever donated blood? Yes, I, I, I have. thought you would never ask. Yes, I, I mean, have. it was. I would. Yes, it, I it have. was a very, very traumatic experience for me. Exactly, same um, here. It should, it should be. I have. It should be thirteen years now. Wow. Thirteen years ago, yeah, when I lost, uh, we lost my sister-in-law. Oh dear. So I remember mm. I was breastfeeding Alpha, mm. right. my first son. I was breastfeeding him. And because I am a, I'm a universal donor. That's all, all positive. All positive. Yeah. All positive. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, she you? just did the operation to have the baby and, you know, she lost a lot of blood. Oh so I remember us calling different people. Me, I was breastfeeding. I didn't even bath an eyelid. Mm. They tested the blood. It was okay. So they took the blood. But meanwhile, one of my, <laughs> my sister's colleagues, I can never forget the guy. By the time they drew just one pint of blood, he was, he was shaky, he was dizzy, they had okay. to give him malt, it was horrible. Oh. I mean, that was his first time too, so... I have never gone through I the have experience. Done it, yes. I have, I, I, and actually it was uh, for my mother, oh. so it was uh, very, very traumatic for me. Wow. And she still left me wow. in the process, yeah. so, so sad. Sad, isn't it, it was... Yeah, she also so left, good. so there's mm. really nothing. Oh. Yeah. So, well... Thank you to everyone that goes out to donate blood. You really, you're saving lives out there. And yeah. I also think it's also important that parents should have that conversation with their children yeah, as well. Because important. you just never know what and when it will be. When it's happen. needed. Yeah. Yes. Right. Good All right, so Isi, what did you find first in the news today? Okay, in the news, according to the, the Tribune, um, 269 Nigerians that were stranded in India were brought back, they were returned to Nigeria uh, at the Lagos and Abuja airport. I must commend the, the chairman of the Commission of uh, Nigeria in Diaspora Commission, um, Honorable, Abi Honorable Abike Dabiri yeah. Erewa. Yeah. She has done a wonderful job um, um, bringing our, our, our citizens back home. Mm -hmm. But there is also something that we should also take into consideration that they will also have to um, observe the 14 day self isolation. Definitely. It's compulsory, it's mandatory for them. And they should also take note that there are people who are also Nigerians that are also still stranded mm -hmm. outside the country. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know for a fact that somebody in, um, uh, what's it called, um, in, um, England and uh, Turkey, and they are not finding it funny. You know that mm. last minute um, coming in with, without any cash right. on you. So mm -hmm. they are really stranded right now, and they're calling back to... A couple of months ago, that was Ricardo Banks as well. I don't know exactly. if he's back in the country, but mm. he, was, he was stranded outside the country. Mm. Yeah, mm. so I, I, I would say that it's essential that we should also bring back those that are also stranded outside Citizens. the country yeah. and bring them back right. home. I agree. That's for those that want to come back. <laughs> I know some people that um, have traveled and they are using this as an excuse not to come back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, darling. Well, sounds okay. Good. okay, so um, it's Sunday and uh, like I said earlier, a lot of sad news going on around. So I decided mm. to go for a soft story that we could all just talk about and share different views on. And this time it's uh, Pastor Laurie Jehosa, beautiful woman. I love her. So now she goes on, uh, I think this is on Insta blog. Uh, a marriage proposal is, this is what she tweeted, a marriage proposal is an intimate private matter, not a video production made to post on your social media handles. Guys, watch out for the lady who tells you how to propose. She won't um, let you uh, rest your entire marriage. Public proposals oftentimes end in private disaster. And... To a certain extent, I do disagree because, uh, like, I'm not I'm not the person that would say, you know what, um, yeah, make it a party or mm -hmm. so. But I would always say, like, if you're going to propose to me, I don't care if it's just the both of us, but make sure there is a camera person around because I love moments and it's a special moment I want to like remember forever in pictures. What do you ladies think? Hmm. <laughs> 
That's for those that are not married, that are no, looking I'm for... I'm even saying that it's, it's getting romantic. too much. Honestly, <laughs> us taking all our lives and putting it on social media is exactly. getting too much. I think I agree with her. What? You know, yeah. But do you think it's okay for a man to go through that whole um, 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 process of proposing? And, so where do we draw know? the line between show business and mm -hmm. reality, right? If, it is, if, if a man is naturally romantic and he wants to go all out, it's fine. But now it is, it's, it's now becoming... Mm. It's not becoming real acting, you know. You mm. get cameras and all of it. Well, it makes sense to the people that it makes sense Honestly, to. Honestly, I feel like it's just a me. natural human craving to be appreciated, to be valued. So, so the I, thing is... Right? And so for, I, for people who are in the public eye, it yes. doesn't mean so much because mm -hmm. every day you're celebrated, the world mm -hmm. sees you. But for other... Uh, for, for a better choice of word, please don't be offended, for normal people, mm. right? So this is like... Regular one people. Of, regular people, thank you. This is one mm. of the few occasions where they can have all the attention on them so it's like if the attention is going to be i better milk it i think well, that's, I, that's I, just I, the I totally disagree with you on that though mm. i totally disagree well with so you on that. i will come back to the sad story because it really broke my heart when um if i it was olamide that called me lami mm -hmm. called me and said well have i heard you know oh, this dear. afternoon the sad passing of um <sighs> um, Ibudun Igodalo, um, the wife of Pastor Itwa Igodalo. It's really, really heartbreaking. Sad. I mean, she was such a beautiful soul. You know, there was something interesting about her. So it was reported, first of all, that she died at about 2 a.m., mm -hmm. um, early hours of this morning, um, from a cardiac arrest. You know, um, so, you know, it's really heartbreaking for me because, I mean, I followed her. I followed her all through on social media. In fact, immediately Lamide called me. I quickly went on Instagram to search for her. I just really, I just liked, literally liked her picture yesterday because she was traveling, mm -hmm. you know. And I mean, it was reported that she died, I think, in Port Harcourt as well, you know. So every single time um, Ibido and Godalo would want to travel, you know, because she's always putting it on social media, she would hug, she would kiss. You know, she would hold her husband. She would say, no, I don't like leaving him and all of that. Mm -hmm. it's, as, it's, it's just like she knew that maybe one Final of these trips, goodbyes. I would go and never come back. I mean, so the video that has been trending, you know, all over social media was the video she did about maybe two days ago or something, mm -hmm. where it was posted, or uh, four days ago, I can't remember the day now. She was hugging him. In fact, um, Pastor Ito was shouting there, oh, Solu. Gobno Solu, <laughs> domestic <laughs> violence and all of that. And now she's gone. It's really sad. Um, my condolence it's goes tragic. to yeah goes to Pastor Ito. I tried to reach out. Of course, I knew he was not going to pick the call, Absolutely. but just to register that you know what uh, well, your, our hearts yeah, are with you. But he our is prayers such a with strong, you. brave man. Irrespective yeah. of you know hearing the news, the very sad news at 2 a.m. Mm -hmm. earlier today, he was still at the funeral proceedings of, of um, yeah. uh, Modupe Johnson. I think. Yes. Yeah. 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 He went to <laughs> to officiate uh, um, <laughs> the passing away of someone else. Hmm. I mean, it's. You know, That's sometimes you say you can't question God, but, you know, this year, it's like, it's like, you know, yeah. if I tell you the number of people yeah. that I know that have passed this year. So that's why I say to anyone out there, Baby this is not the year 2020. To, to hold grudges to yeah. whatever. Love more, forgive more, because mm -hmm. there will always be people that would offend you and all of that. Just live the best of your life and let us hope and pray that by God's grace, 1st of January 2021, right. we'll all be together to celebrate. But it's, it's a tough year. It's a tough so year. So, and that's why I'm even wondering how I'm going to ask that. Well, I think I'm, I'm going to ask our guests because this is a year of so much uncertainty, right? Mm -hmm. So I really want to dig into the mind of the entrepreneur. What should you be advising an entrepreneur? Mm -hmm. Because there's so much uncertainty. You know, some businesses have not, they've not opened for the past three months. months. Five yes. months. You know, three for, months. Okay, you know, yeah, months, for, yeah. So for some businesses. Yeah. So what, what should be going through their minds? What should they be doing, you know? How, you know, should we just say, okay, you know what, this is the year to just weather the storm. If I if I lose, or I just lose. just sit back and rely on savings. And relax, yeah. you know? So it's actually going to be a very you good conversation. Savings, that is. Oh. Yeah. So it's going to be a good conversation. We'll um, take a quick break. Our guest, um, Steve Harris, will join us right after the break to discuss growth and the entrepreneur's mind. Please stay with us. <laughs> 